What's up, E39 Source? My name's Iman, and this is my 2001 BMW 540i6. I've had this car for almost a year now. I got it at an auction last June, I believe, for a really good price. And even though I didn't know nearly as much about those cars as I do now, I still knew that it was something I shouldn't pass up on, considering how much of a bang for you buck performance-wise you get with these cars. So I picked it up, and even though it had a few problems, which I'll go into in a few minutes, it was still a really good purchase, and I do not regret the decision whatsoever. Exterior-wise, it's, it's in decent shape. I mean, it's a little bit rough around the edges. It's got a few scratches here and there, like the bumpers, the paint's chipped right there, and I actually did this a few weeks ago. I do a lot of the work myself because my neighbor owns a garage, and when I was backing in, I accidentally hit part of the wall and chipped the fender a little bit, but hey, I mean, this car has scratches all over, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. When I first got the car, it had these ugly ass 19 inch aftermarket rims on them. And one of the first things I did when I bought the car was I replaced it with these Style 65s. Uh, I mentioned earlier my neighbor owns a garage and that garage also doubles as a salvage yard. And he had these sitting on a car in the yard and he gave me a really fair price on them so I couldn't pass them up. They're not in the best of shape. They have a few cracks um, and a few chips from hitting the curb over the years. But this one's probably the worst back here. It's got a few nicks like right there. But I still think it makes the car look a lot better than what it ha used to have on it so that was definitely a good decision. One thing that I did to this car, which some people they love or hate, is I actually replaced the roundels with black and white roundels instead of blue and white roundels, which the original BMWs have. I think it looks cooler, personally. Some people might disagree with me, but at the end of the day, it's my car and I can do whatever I want. It's on the back, too. See the roundels black right there? And they also plastic it to the 540i and black, which I think it looks good personally. So that's the way it's going to stay. And I also installed this rear spoiler, which it's not an official M5 one. It's an aftermarket one I got off eBay. But compared to what I'd be spending at the dealer, a few hundred versus 30 what I paid on eBay, I feel like I got a better deal. All right, let's take a look at the interior now. It's got the sport seat interior, the sport steering wheel, and I'm currently in the process of wrapping it with this 3M carbon wrap. Um, the only pieces I have to do anymore are the shift knob, which is still wood, and this piece which covers the tape deck right here. This is just a temporary fix until I, until I get something like some real trim off eBay or something. If you look over here, you can see that some of the edges are kind of rough. I just spent $600 on parts to overhaul the cooling system, which I'm going to do within the next, the next month or so, hopefully. So I'm holding off on spending any more money on this car for a little while. And as you can see, it has the infamous dead pixel issue. You can't really tell right here, but it has about 187,400 miles, which it's a lot for these cars but this one was really well maintained from what I understand. It was a one owner car. Why don't we start it up now? It does have a little bit of van house tap and van house rattle. A lot of E39s with mileage is high have it. So I'm not too concerned about it right now. I'm pretty sure that it's still on the original timing chain guides though. So once I get those done, which is hopefully going to be within the next year or so. I don't plan on daily driving this car in a little bit because I'm actually moving for a new job soon and I'm gonna buy another car to use as my daily because I wouldn't trust having this as my only car by any means myself. So once I have some money saved up for my new job, I'll be able to get that done over time. So let's take a look at the engine now. So here's the engine, it's just the standard M62. It's in pretty good shape for the year, but it has a few issues that need to be addressed like this power steering reservoir needs to be replaced because it's the original one so I can imagine it's become brittle over time. I actually just bought the part a few weeks ago and I'm gonna put that on once I 
we overhaul the cooling system within the next few weeks. And the valve cover gaskets are leaking. It's not that big of an issue right now, though, so I'm not going to address it at this point in time. In the foreseeable future, yes, but for now, I'm just going to let it be. Aside from that, and the Vanos rattle, it's pretty solid and it hasn't given me much trouble at all. I've had this car for almost a year now, and it's never left me stranded or by the side of the road. Uh, the check engine light isn't on or anything. So, overall, it's been a solid one. This car also has the ski bag option, which, if you fold down the center armrest, take this out, this is back here, and you can open the trunk, put your skis in, and lay them down without taking up much space. Well, that's my 2001 540i6. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I look forward to potentially getting involved with the E39 source community on a wider scale in the near future. Take care, everyone. Bye.